Hi, and welcome to the Life Adventure. I'm Caroline. And I'm Phil. And today we are joining you from the west coast of the United Kingdom in a Welsh town of Aberystwyth. And in this video, we're going to take you on a tour of Aberystwyth, meet some Welsh people, and learn a little bit about the history and the culture of Wales. Right, Caroline, what else we got coming up? Oh my god! You won't believe it, but we have an interview with very famous Welsh photographer. Really? Who's that? Keith Morris. Wow. Now, have you ever heard of the phrase, kicking the bar? Kicking the bar? Well, in that case, if you'd like to find out, stay tuned and we'll be down on Avarice with Prom, learning exactly what that means. And also, don't forget that we're going to learn how to say the longest and probably the most difficult word in Welsh language. Well, sounds great. So, if you like the sound of that, please remember to click the subscribe button, sign up for alerts, and like the video! In a world far away, at the edge of the United Kingdom, where the land meets the sea, lies the town of Aberystwyth. Meaning the mouth of the river Istwyth, it is a fair-sized town of approximately 15,000 people that can trace its history back as far as the Pendinas Hill Fort from 400 BC that lies on the hill to the south of the town. A university town, it is also home to a Victorian pier that was created by the same architect who designed the iconic piers at Brighton and Margate. It is perhaps unsurprising that such a beautiful and artistic landscape is the home of renowned photographer Keith Morris, whose photographs have graced the front covers of newspapers and have appeared in galleries around the world. The biggest challenge? Cool. Um, I don't know if it, if, if I suppose the biggest challenge is just to survive as a photographer or as, as, any, as any creative person, whether it be a photographer, painter, writer, musician, or whatever, is just staying in the business. Do you consider yourself as a successful person? Yeah, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends how I feel when I wake up. Um, <laughs> I mean, yes, I am successful in the sense that I've been doing it for 40 years. You know, so I'm doing something right. You know, I, have, I haven't had another job for four decades. You know, so I'm do obviously doing something well. Um, I have, you know, as any person does, they have their kind of self-doubts about what it is they're doing and how they're doing it and why they're doing it and whatever. But to simply, you know, to, to be still in the business after 40 years is a mark of some sort of success. Were there any dark moments in your life? Oh, always dark moments, yeah. Yeah, you, you always have doubts, you know, you, you, think, you, you, you wake up and think, oh God, um, am I any good? But that's, that's part and parcel of being, of being a creative person, you know, if, you, if you're constantly thinking, I am the best of this, then, you know, you're, you're heading for a big downfall. But yeah, everybody, you know, even the most famous, well-established person, artist, will have doubts about what it is that they're doing. What was the biggest mistake you made in your life? If there is one regret or a mistake that I have, it's possibly that I have not tried hard enough. The biggest dream is to stay alive <laughs> as long as possible. Okay, um, just be who you want to be. Um, try different things every day. Um, believe in yourself um, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Um, the best way of learning is to get things wrong and then to do it again and get it right. Okay, so while Caroline was interviewing Keith Morris, I've come here to the castle of Aberystwyth, right on the west coast of Wales. Now this castle was first commissioned in 1277 and it was built by the English King Edward I to crush the Welsh uprising of the time. It's since changed hands a number of times and you can see it in its current state of disrepair with the towers behind me. The original castle site is actually two miles to the south of the current location at the mouth of its namesake, the River Istwith. The current site was chosen after King Edward I tired of Llewellyn ap Griffith's Welsh uprising 
and ordered a castle to be built as an English outpost in 1277. Unfortunately, its proximity to the battering waves meant that it started to fall into disrepair after only 150 years, and a slighting by Cromwell's roundheads rendered it unfit for habitation. Today, the ruins stand as a reminder of a bloody past that seems at odds with the green pastures and rural tranquility of the Welsh countryside. So let's find out what Caroline's been up to. Oh hey look, we found Caroline. Caroline, what have you been up to? I'm going to kick the bar. Kick the what? The bar. How'd you do that? <laughs> Let me show you. Oh great. It's really, really windy right now, but the building just behind me is the biggest library in Wales. Now, have you ever wondered why the biggest library in Wales is located in Aberystwyth? Me too. Let's find out why. <laughs> the celebrated physician and baronet, Sir John Williams, promised to donate his valuable private collection of manuscripts and books on the one condition that the National Library of Wales be established in Aberystwyth. As a legal deposit library, they are entitled to hold a copy of every single publication printed in Britain and Ireland. To blow away the dust and cobwebs of the library archives, we decided to climb the Constitution Hill at the southern end of the Brom. Well, we strongly recommend that you visit Aberystwyth as well, but we have got something else just before we go. Like we promised, we've been staying with a native Welsh family who actually grew up speaking Welsh as their first language. And yesterday, we had a go at saying the longest place name in Welsh. It actually happened here on this sofa. Ta -da! So right now, Helen is going to teach us how to say the longest and probably the most difficult word in Welsh language. Okay, so it's it is a village of the North Wales um, in Anglesey. So it is Llanbar Pwll Gwngell Go Gerach Yn Rhyfel Llanbysel Go 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 Go. Can go first? Langin Gwrsio Labra Grira Go Go Go. You just made it half of what it's supposed to be. Your turn. Here we go. Flangberry. Silly on Google. How was it again? Thank you so much for being with us today. Please remember to subscribe our channel, sign up for alerts, and like the video.